All right, let's remove some of the pink fluffy stuff. I'm pretty active on eBay, which is where I came across this kit. I will recycle these packing peanuts in something I sell when that time comes. At the moment, the packaging looks, or the shipping packaging looks pretty good. That's what this is all about. Small parts for the acrylic frame. Okay, yes, I did order the acrylic frame kit. I've noticed that there are about four different choices of uh, frames that you can buy for the uh, Perusa i3 style. Um, I think the most inexpensive being the laser cut wood, second most inexpensive being the acrylic, plexi, whatever you want to call it, plastic. Third in the list of, of cost and price uh, would be aluminum or metal, which I think they do aluminum or steel depending. And then I saw somebody, I'm not sure why you need it, but I saw somebody did a uh, carbon fiber version, so that's kind of cool, I guess. Certainly bragging rights if you're trying to pimp your printer. All right. So you can see that. Plastic set. Great. So these are the bigger parts. So you can see the form factor of this thing. I think it's like 14 inches, a little over a foot. So it would be about 14 by 14, I'm sure. So that's great. We have our Big frame in our little frame. Ooh, now we got paper. And more packing peanuts. Ah. Paper. Well, I already see I got a bonus. That's really neat. This is not listed in the auction, but, uh, Looks like I got a ceramic screwdriver. That's pretty cool. That's a nice bonus. Thank you guys. Oh, what do I want to go for first? All right. Here's that tape stuff that I can't pronounce, but it's uh, like a high melting heat tape. I'm sure it's used to tape down the uh, leads that are going to the hot end. So that it comes with a roll. You certainly. I think they use the same stuff to coat the heat bed with. This does have a heated bed, but you certainly want, wouldn't want to get the tape that's this wide. You'd want the wider stuff, but this is good for taping up wires that get hot. All right, this is my direct drive extruder, pre-manufactured or pre-done up, which is nice of them, so I don't have to uh, try to put it together, which is good. Well packaged, I'll get into that later. I know what this is. Power supply. Yay! Um, I was drawn to this power supply because it's 360 watts. Uh, I've seen some less than that, and that's a bit concerning to me for, with the um, heated bed that this kit has. So 360 watts seem like ample, if not a little bit excessive, which is great. Um, so I mean, these are going, I think, around 30 to 50 bucks a piece. I did the breakdown, I'll post that. Uh, cheapest way that if you wanted to source it out through eBay to buy the parts. Um, like I said, this kit cost less than $350 and I uh, I priced it and to buy individual pieces through eBay and different sellers. It was over $400 um, and some of the parts were coming from China so there would have been a long delay shipping. Even with parts that you could print, speaking of which, these would be the parts in this bag here that you could print. 
plastic set. Um, even if you could print all these, including the ones for the extruder, it's still the price was around 320, 340. And again, you're still with the waiting time of things coming from China, perhaps. So um, at under 350 for the whole thing, it seemed like the right answer. Oh, I will say, although this doesn't look like it, it could be wrong. Yeah, it could be. I'll have to investigate a little further. The kit, when I bought it, said that the um, the plastics were uh, injection molded as opposed to printed from a 3D printer. Now, these have a very interesting texture to them. They do kind of look like they were 3D printed. I'm almost convinced that they are. I'm not too concerned about it, but I will investigate that later. But, uh, yeah, I'll keep going. Uh, GT2 belt kit with pulleys. Apparently this is the style of pulley and belt that you would want for one of these kits. Um, I've heard some other timing belts just don't have the right profile uh, for what we're trying to do and they have backlash, I guess. I sound like I'm like all-knowing, but I really am just guessing. I did some homework. Alright, let's see what we got here. Some wires, connectors. Some of them are terminated. Looks like there's in there there's a little bit of a reel of connector as well. So that's cool. I will say they did a nice job separating everything out. <laughs> Alright, that's another one that they didn't say. Uh, I got a little bit of black ABS plastic for testing purposes. That's kind of them. I did order some spools, one of ABS and one of PLA already, which actually has arrived sooner, sitting in a box. But uh, it's nice that they give me a little bit to test with. Power cable, always good to have. Made in China, but it's already made its voyage over here previously. Uh, let's see here, it looks like part of the uh, original manufacturer's shipping container, a little bit of polystyrene container, but what will be in here is four stepper motors, because the extruder already has one on it, um, and they do tell you that on the y-axis, the stronger of the stepper motors goes on it. Um, would make sense. Extruder doesn't need a super strong motor. You're using two motors for your vertical axis, your Z. Um, and your x-axis isn't supporting a whole lot of weight, all it's supporting is the extruder, so that doesn't need a lot. So, to put the strongest one on the heat bed that's doing a lot of travel, that would make sense. And that has varying weights with it as well, depending on what kind of parts you're printing. So, um, I think that logic is sound, um, to at least give you a little bit stronger motor for that, that axis. smooth rods, and these are not pre-cut, they just give you lengths, and you will be required to cut them to length. Fortunately for me, I have an angle grinder with a cut-off disc, and I have some dumb files, or bastard files, whatever you call them, um, so I can round the edges and not be all sharp and ugly-like. So there's the smooth rods. This did come with bearings, not bushings, so somewhere in here, if I haven't already removed them, there are bearings, metal bearings. Here's my threaded rod. These are um, for making the frame as well as uh, your Z axis going up and down. They'll use threaded rod for that. Also, not cut to length. Um, that will be on responsibility of me. I might leave them long for the possibility of figuring out how to uh, get a little bit more printing uh, area out of this in the Z axis at some point. All right, this red thing inside the bubble wrap. That is the heated bed. 
Again, very nice that, uh, that the kit came with that because other ones with the same price tag did not. This kit does not come with glass. You do have to buy 8x8 eight eight glass um, for it, but it does come with the clips, the little binder clips. So they just didn't want to ship you glass because it's cheap enough to find here. I found, by the way, side note, uh, if you go to Walmart, you can get for six bucks a picture frame that's in the 8x8 eight eight shape. It's a shadow box. Ooh. You can scrap it if you want to, but there is a piece of glass in it that seems to be about the right thickness. Dollar store glass didn't seem to work too well. Too thin. Breaks too easy. That's specific. So we have hardware. Yay! Hardware. Alright, so that tells you about bearings. If I'm not mistaken, I think you only need 10 of that particular bearing. They give you some extras. I could be wrong. Um, some of the other bearings and whatnot. But it comes in a kit. Metal bearings. And also in here are the couplings. They use those semi-rigid couplings. Um, looks like a little corkscrew. Um, nice piece, or a nice part. Certainly not bottom of the line. Bottom of the barrel. Lastly, ah, electronics. Yay! Sorry, this is what I'm looking forward to is playing with this stuff. So, uh, this does come with the Ramps 1.4 shield. The Mega 2560 clone. It's not the real deal, but it should work fine. Five of the uh, stepper drivers. You only need four for this particular application, but it comes with five in case you did upgrade to a dual extruder. USB cord and end stops, and I believe this comes with mechanical end stops. Some of them have optical, some of them have Hall effect, but this little clicky, clicky switch end, end stops, I think they might light up if they actually engage. Um, I'll figure that out when I get there. So that's that, and then, oh, they were so kind to print me out. I'll say that. Where's my knife? Where's my knife? A cheat sheet, and they did link to a Google Drive a bunch of documents for this. The cheat sheet was one of them, but uh, they gave me a printed copy as well, which is great. Um, and you can see they give you the measurements of the lengths that you have to cut some of those rods because they have not cut, been cut prior to coming here. All right, well that's it. I'm gonna empty out the rest of these packing peanuts and probably set up my workstation here so that I can build this thing. I'll get back to you.